Hey everyone, be sure to check out Mrs. Lepresto, our uh, Google uh, website so you can see Mrs. Lepresto teaching you how to do the ballet of the unhatched chicks. And today we'll be drawing the ballet of the unhatched chicks. My daughter actually does ballet, um, so she's going to show us a few of her ballet moves to get us inspired before we start our drawing. So what's that I hear in the background? Oh, it's the ballet of the unhatched chicks. That and my daughter, Katie, who's going to show us a few dance moves on point, which means up on those tippy toes. The first one she's going to do is an a chape. And the next one she's going to do is a developé. All right, next we're going to do a bore. All right, notice one of my chicks in my inspirational drawing had their wings in the air. So this is a pas de bore, and I asked Katie to do it with wings in the air. Okay, so in order to do today's drawing, we definitely, we need our guidelines, of course, down the center one way, down the center the other way, nice light dashed lines. And then today we're going to go ahead and put our stage line on first because our chicks are going to be doing their ballet on the stage. So we want to make sure we get that stage on there so we know where it's going to be. And that stage is going to be a nice wide stage. We're going to have it be just a little bit down from our halfway mark. So go ahead and put your stage line on. Oh, only really about, you know, a finger or two down from that center line. If you haven't noticed, Mrs. Lepresto and I were kind of, we're theming up together. Ha! Instead of teaming, we're theming, right? We're theming up together, and uh, today is, of course, the, the ballet of the unhatched chicks. But um, we've been working on, last week, we did some Monsters Incorporated, and she sang... Um, you got a friend in me, and we drew Mike Wazowski. So uh, check out check out Miss Le Presto's um, activities and pages too, so you can see all the fun things that she's doing. All right, so here's our stage line. So our chicks, they're going to be sort of cartoony, obviously, because chickens don't do ballet. Um, and this is the unhatched chick chicks. And I thought, well, unhatched chicks can't do a ballet, but partially hatched chicks could and their shells would sort of make like a tutu and we're going to make their long long legs stretch down so i'm going to do two or three chicks right here doing um you know sort of standing in the background doing their their little uh, up on en point the uh, up on their pointed toes in their ballet shoes and then maybe we'll do one or two leaping get them sort of up in the air over in this direction here and then we're going to finish it off with uh, some background curtains back here because you know those those pretty red curtains you always see um, in the stage backgrounds when you go to a ballet so let's go ahead and start we're going to have, remember, all of our chicks are going to have just half of their shell on because it's the unhatched chick. So just put a upside down curve like this and do a jagged, zigzaggy edge for the shell like that. Slide that over so you guys can see that better. All right, so I've got my big curved line here, my jagged edge there, and then come inside and the chick is going to be a curve that's not going to go all the way to the edge. Stop it a little bit short like this. All right? Now that first chick, these couple chicks that we're going to do, they're going to be looking right at us. So go ahead and put on two eyes and their two pupils like this. And we're going to put their beak like that, sort of straight out looking at us. And the legs, have them come out from the bottom side of the shell. So two slightly diagonal lines out that way. And then we're going to bring them diagonal lines back down this way. Now watch how we're going to put on some little ballet shoes. So when they're doing ballet, their foot curves. So there's your heel. You got a little curve down to that pointed toe and then just swing it back around. So again, we've got a heel curve, 
pointed ballet shoe back around. I'll fix this one up, make it as big as the other one there. We'll clean up all those lines afterwards so we get that nice curve for our pointed ballet shoes. All right, there's chick number one, unhatched chick ballet. And do a second one right here. So you got the curve. We got our jagged edge where that chick was hatching. We got our second curve that doesn't quite go all the way. I'm gonna put the little eyes closer together on this one. This one will, I'm gonna put my pupils this way. He's sort of looking at his friend over there like, oh no, maybe I forgot the moves. Upside down, like you're gonna make a triangle, but then you curve that top over there. Again, the legs diagonally out. Maybe we'll make his legs crisscross. What do you think? So diagonal out, back the other way, diagonal out back the other way, and then we'll get heel, curve, point, heel, curve, point. Get those ballet shoes on. I think I did this foot backwards, didn't I? He would actually be the other direction, be the heel curve and the point going that way. There we go. Much better. All right. Maybe this one's got some wings overhead. Arms in the air. Just some bumpity bumps. So straight line, curve. Bump, 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 straight line, curve, bumpity, bumpity, bump. Over here, we'll just leave that chick with his wings tucked inside. All right, so there's two of our unhatched chicks doing a ballet. And now my third chick, I think I want him, I think I'm going to have him doing like a leg extension. So one leg up in the air, one leg down on the stage. And I want his body on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and cur turn my paper just like this. I'm going to put on the one. All right, so I'm coming down. I'm touching that stage right there. So he's going to end up looking like he's more in front of these guys here. And then I'm going to that jagged edge again for our shell. That inside. Chick on the inside. I'm going to just put one eye because he's side two. I'm going to put his beak out here. Okay, so his beak's this direction here. And he's got, let's see, let's do one leg straight up this way. Heel curve back around and then one leg straight down this way heel curve back around kind of doing a leg extension there so that's that's our chick in the front all right i don't think we have any more space for our unhatched ballet chicks so let's go ahead and get that curtain on in the background. So from back here, we're going to just do one big swoop. You see my center line right there? We're going to have one nice big swoop from side to side right there. And then from behind that swoop, we're going to do a second swoop here. Just bring it out a little bit and another one here. All right. And from there, my next swoop is going to go all the way almost to the edge. So from here, we're going to swoop 
almost all the way to the edge. If your foot goes up as high as mine does like that, make sure you jump over your foot, right? We don't want that. And then, actually I'm gonna bring it all the way to the edge like this. And then from behind here, we're gonna put in our curtain. So a swoop down and then straight, put on a little something holding back our curtain there down and then it's gonna hang straight little crooked bottom there all right there is our stage now let's add some fun details let's put some curve lines here Right, and some lines like this. So we see the folds in our curtains. All right, and on our stage, I think I'm gonna put some, some lines in to show that it's really made of wood, like a wooden stage. They don't have to be perfect jump where your feet are but they're going to be wider here and then they're going to slowly get closer together as we get towards that back of the stage showing that those things are further away from us right go. All right, there's our stage and our ballet of the unhatched chicks. I'm going to give some, I think I'm going to use some colored pencil today to give some life to my chicks and I might even do their shells in some different bright colors, almost like ballet tutus. So maybe I'll do pinks or, or baby blues or some pretty sort of tutu shades for their for their shells and of course I'll do some nice bright pink ballet slippers. I'm gonna put a red curtain back here and a big brown wooden stage, but you pick whatever colors you want when you're doing your ballet of the unhatched chicks.